Hey guys, Matthew Anderson here at Anderson Studios. And in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, some of the Korean art products, in particular the watercolor products that are uh, available uh, internationally. And I, you've probably seen on YouTube maybe before some Shinhan watercolor paints uh, or the PWC uh, paints uh, talked about or reviewed and uh, I'm going to talk about those. Uh, I've, I've lived in Korea for over 15 years and I've been using them uh, since I lived here and uh, I can tell you that they're, they're quite good and uh, I'll give you a rundown of what those look like and the intensity and uh, uh, use of those and uh, a couple other products too that I think are really good that uh, is available in Korea and also uh, uh, you can buy on uh, online whether it's Amazon or Dick Blick or wherever. Uh, so first up is the uh, palette and so uh, company called uh, Hong Il uh, makes these palettes and here, I'll show you this one. I have several of them but these metal palettes and they're marketed as uh, under the name Color Around palettes and they're a metal uh, or aluminum uh, palette uh, that's got a white ceramic paint coating on them and uh, you can get these in a number of different sort of layouts. Um, uh, you can get with just the wells on the side here, or you can get uh, an L shape, or you can get a double line. You can get these in larger sizes too. I have a, a little larger one uh, that I use just for my studio. Uh, and there's, you know, more than enough uh, for all your colors in here. There's, there's, you know, 30 plus wells in here. Uh, and it's a great mixing surface. Uh, you can also you can get these mixing areas in different formats, layouts with uh, ridges to separate color areas or a solid, uh, large, uh, flat mixing area. And I, I just you know can't say enough about them. I, I love using them. Uh, I used a plastic palette back in the states, and you know you guys I'm sure are familiar in how those really yellow and uh, scratch quite easily and they're quite uh, uh, flimsy uh, but these are very economical too if you compare prices for metal pallets uh, from different companies uh, this company which is actually called Hong Il uh, the Korean name and they, they market this as the color around palette so it's a great deal I think it's about $15 for this uh, palette uh, last I checked on Amazon and, and other online uh, markets so uh, I think these are worth it uh, they do have the you know handheld palette little hole here so you can hold your palette too if that's how you paint or uh, if you go out in the field to, to paint you'll you'll might you know use that um, and so I, I just really can't say enough about those palettes. Those are nice. Um, other things I've been using in Korea are the, the brushes by the Korean company called Hua Hong. And so Hua Hong, uh, they do market their brushes as Hua Hong uh, company brand. Uh, so um, just to tell you a little bit about some of the different qualities that they produce and uh, what to look for and uh, first off, in the student range, um, the Hua Hong makes uh, Series 771, and this is the really cheap of the cheap uh, watercolor brushes. Um, uh, I'm not sure what the hair is. I, I assume it's a kind of mix of hairs, uh, probably referred to as camel. Um, it's very soft. It's really too soft, and uh, if you get this brush wet, it really has, you know, no point on it, really. Um, it doesn't keep its shape. It separates really easily. But, you know, for kids and things, it's okay. But I would avoid uh, this one as far as watercolor goes. Uh, the better student grade ones are their 7 uh, series here and the 782. And it's a little bit better quality brush. And it will get a better point. It's still not a great point to it. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, it has more snap to it uh, than the others, so it does uh, offer a little bit more uh, return to its shape. So as far as student grade, these ones are really not bad. And I've actually done paintings with these uh, in class before. 
and uh, uh, you know it's a long handle brush so I really don't like that you know uh, I don't know why uh, student brushes are often long handled <laughs> But uh, as far as a student brush goes, I think these are, these are not bad. And these are natural hair brushes. And again, I'm not sure what hair these uh, 782s are made from. Um, I'm guessing it's a combination of squirrel and uh, probably ox hair. Uh, then the, the ones that I, I go into the range that are really good is uh, that Hua Hong makes these squirrel mops. And I, I think they're really nice. Um, they're, uh, they're not cheap. Uh, they're cheaper than the Isabi. So I do have an, an Isabi mop here, which is the 6234 mop. So I have a larger one here, number six, and that one. And then uh, uh, Hua Hong makes the same kind of squirrel mop. And this is a number two. Of course, I didn't buy the same size because I don't need to have the same size. But I've used this number two mop so many times uh, for landscape paintings. It's the 500 series. It's a beautiful brush and the, it's very well made. Um, the ferrule wrap is nice and neat. There's no sharpness to it. Uh, actually, you know, there's a little bit of sharpness on this Isabi. Uh, it seems like it's a little bit, you know, wonky in the wrapping. But, uh, you know, the Isabis are a lot more expensive. You know, this is number six. I, I think it was about uh, $65, and if you got the Hua Hong number six is about $55, so, you know, uh, a lot less, uh, and it's basically the same brush, so, um, you know, with these kind of mops, there's not really a point, they do call them a quill uh, mop, but there's really not much point on the Isabi either, when you actually get it wet and you take a look at it, it's, there's not really much of a point. Very, very difficult to do any kind of detail. But you, of course you wouldn't with a mop anyway. But they're, they're beautiful brushes. I like them both. Um, uh, but like I said, I think the, the Hua Hong uh, ferrule wrap is a little neater and uh, more comfortable than uh, this uh, Isabi one. Uh, so uh, anyway, those are nice. Um, then, uh, I don't have the brush here, but it's uh, Hua Hong makes a, a Kalinsky Sable brush, and it's very comparable to, uh, I, what I use is a Series 7 Windsor & Newton uh, Kalinsky Sable. And so why I didn't buy the Hua Hong is because I don't need it, because I have this already. Um, but I've used it uh, because some of my students had them. And I can tell you that the Hua Hong, uh, I believe it's the 600 uh, R uh, series brush, and uh, that is a, a pretty good brush and, and uh, less expensive, of course, than your other Kalinsky Sable brushes. Of course, Windsor & Newton is, is, is quite highly priced, but uh, something from, you know, Escoda or, uh, you know, your other major brush companies, uh, the, the Hua Hong one is a little bit cheaper uh, in price. Uh, so this is the uh, Shin Han 32 watercolor set. And uh, uh, first off, uh, I, I live in Korea and they, they don't market this set as the PWC, which is how it's marketed uh, abroad. And so in Korea, you will not find PWC, you only find SWC. Uh, and this is the same set as the PWC. So with that out of the way, um, the range of colors in here uh, is a pretty good deal for, you know, how much you spend on this. I mean, you know, about $90 to $100 range for this, uh, this kind of set is, is a really good value, I think. Uh, I've used uh, Windsor & Newton, uh, Daniel Smith, Schmincke for many years. Um, uh, but when I moved to Korea about 15 years ago, I, I started using Shinhan. And so I've actually had these paints for a long time. And uh, you can see that, you know, even the, the labels are different. So uh, this is the newer uh, label with the sort of cursive writing. And some of the <laughs> Uh, other variations of the logo and then getting into some of these older ones. Um, but uh, I, I've used these for a number of years and I'm, I'm quite happy with them. 
living in Korea, whole buying paints also are very uh, easy to find because of, you know, it's a Japanese company and there are a lot of Japanese products here in Korea. But uh, uh, Winsor & Newton, Daniel Smith, and Schmincke and some of the other top brands are extremely expensive in Korea. And so it's just a more economical choice for, for me living here. Uh, I can buy them, but it's just uh, about double the price. Um, uh, anyway, uh, you know, brand to brand, I mean, I, I was a loyal Schmincke and Winsor & Newton user. And uh, to, to switch brands, as I, I'm sure you guys, uh, a lot of you out there are... <laughs> are really you know apprehensive to to go to a different brand because you're probably used to using uh, a certain kind of color and how the colors work and so if you've used Holbein that's a very easy transition into the Shinhan paints um, as a Winsor & Newton user I, I you know in this set didn't find the the right red so you know there's a Winsor & Newton uh, Winsor red uh, which is PR254, and then the, the red that comes in this set is permanent red, and that's a PR209, and so it's not exactly the same, it's fairly close. Um, uh, as far as uh, the beauty of the color and the working of it, I, I do prefer Windsor Red uh, and some of the other Windsor & Newton uh, paints, but I do find that this permanent red is, is a really nice color. It's just a little different and, and you get used to it and mixing with other colors is, is uh, uh, you know, pretty nice because it's, it's, it's a fairly pure color. Um, the, the yellows are, are fairly limited to the lemon yellow, permanent yellow light and permanent yellow deep. And uh, uh, then you, you don't have a lot in the range of like a new gamboge or uh, you know uh, other ones. There is a yellow ochre, but I put it with my browns there. Uh, but enough yellows to in the range for mixing. The blues have a nice range from uh, peacock blue actually is uh, thalo blue, so they name it peacock blue like some companies do. Cerulean, uh, cobalt ultramarine. They actually have two ultramarines. Uh, there's an ultramarine light and an ultramarine deep. And so the, the deep is the one that comes with the set. Uh, permanent violet. There's only one uh, violet in this set, but I do like the permanent violet. Uh, and then you get your Prussian blue indigo, which, uh, eh, you know, is uh, for me, I, I don't really use indigo very much, but uh, it's a nice color. Uh, you know, if you had Payne's gray, you're basically looking at a similar color. Uh, and then the opera, which I really love this opera color. Uh, and uh, as far as uh, like granulation, um, these colors are not high granulating colors. Uh, some of them do. Uh, the cobalt's pretty granulating uh, when you thin this down. Um, ultramarine blue, of course. Um, a, a few of the uh, earth tone pigments are granulating, and the umbers are. Um, the opera is very granulating, uh, but some of the other colors uh, are not too heavily granulating. So if that's what you're into, this is not probably the set for you. If you really want like some of the Daniel Smiths that granulate really heavily, then you probably want to, you know, go with that. But as far as like, uh, you know, buying a full set and this many colors and uh, the, the great thing is that the, there's no white or black in this set. So you're not like minus two colors right out right out of the gate there. You know, I, I'm the kind of person that feels like white and black or you're getting cheated when you're buying a, a set. And uh, uh, but anyway, um, uh, it has a really nice, especially the earth tones. I think they have a really good range of earth tones in here uh, and a lot of earthy colors. Um, there are other sets on the market uh, by Shin Han. And just to show you, uh, you probably have seen this set, the Shin Han Professional Artist Colors. And so this set is not professional. Um, there's, there's basically nothing professional about it. Um, the colors are, are not labeled as far as which pigments are, are in them. 
Uh, some other colors don't even have specific names, like the red is just says red on there. Uh, and then it doesn't tell you uh, which red that is. So no idea unless you, you know, do a paint swatch and try to do some research. Um, it, it's okay for students though, maybe beginning. Uh, my kids use this. I don't really use it, but my kids will use it. And it's good for playing around and experimenting. And if you're a, a real, real beginner, it's probably not a terrible set to buy. Uh, there are so many other good student grade sets though. You know, Schmincke's Academy or uh, Grumbacher and Windsor and Newton. They all, they all have really nice student ranges. Uh, but this one's really on the, the low sort of range of quality for uh, student uh, paints, so. Anyway, you're going to see that. Um, so I'll show you uh, some examples of paintings that I've done using these uh, Shinhan watercolor paints. And um, uh, like I said, I've used them for a number of years. And so I'll show you some different techniques of, you know, whether it's wet into wet uh, or some glazes uh, that I've done in paintings. And you get an idea of, of what they, they look like. So a few of the paintings I've done using the Shinhan uh, paints, and so for this one, some of the green ranges with viridian and sap green and permanent green, and so uh, more than enough in this set uh, as far as greens go. And uh, uh, in using the, the the colors and granulation, you can see that uh, the the ultramarine is a really granulating color and the cobalt as well. So there's cobalt mixed in with this green down here uh, and get quite a bit of granulation with those two colors. Um, the, the green, like I said, the cobalt and mixing it with the permanent yellow and red together, you get, you get sort of actually some really nice greens uh, and along with that cobalt, some, some nice granulation with that. Uh, this is uh, separating the, the oranges and the blues, but you can get, you know, really nice thinned out colors and still get good consistency in your, in your washes, so uh, satisfied in that way. Um, layering over ultramarine blue onto this orange, uh, so again, some granulation uh, in there, uh, but good overall uh, color, I think. Uh, the, the, the greens, and uh, this is layering over uh, using the uh, sap green on, on top of an a orange wash. And uh, good color intensity. Uh, this is the beginning of a painting, but uh, I think you can see that it, it gets a fairly luminous color. And using the paints with the opaque white, um, uh, this was... Uh, uh, a small landscape, but uh, just uh, it had some some decent color intensity even with uh, mixing in with the white uh, with the Chinese white uh, for that and uh, some of the granulation with that ultramarine and uh, 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 Here uh, more intense color uh, with some of your greens and uh, the uh, oranges, and uh, I, I think you know when you're going into more intense color, it does have a nice uh, a nice color effect uh, with it. Um, and layering colors too. This is the uh, yellow ochre, and then layering over the permanent red on top, and so it's a pretty good, I think, uh, range of of colors and transparencies uh, with with uh, the Shinhan paints. Uh, heavy wet into wet, uh, still maintaining good color intensity uh, in the uh, ultramarine blue and the, the greens here with this uh, sap green and uh, permanent greens in there and some of the earth tones. A lot of good intense color I think with this uh, heavier wet into wet use. And a little more abstract but just the, the intensity of that uh, permanent red uh, in there. And um, uh, anyway, I, I really uh, can't recommend enough the, the Shinhans, and I found them uh, on Amazon here. They're $95 for this whole set. So uh, I don't get any money for this. Uh, I'm not an affiliate. Uh, I'm just uh, recommending these because I live in Korea, and uh, that's what I use. So uh, try them out. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, make sure you subscribe. Also, if you're interested in learning more about painting and drawing, I'm going to be rolling out some online courses in basic drawing, landscape drawing, as well as a full course in beginning watercolor and advanced watercolor. So stay tuned.